All right, Blues, and welcome to our big debate on Skype. I'm joined by Alex and Walter. Um, we're going to be talking about the hot talking points of the week. It's going to become a bit of a strand, so you can get involved by adding us on Skype. The link is in the description below, and you can be on our little panel talking about the big, the big city talking point of the week. And this week's talking point is international injuries, and Sergio Aguero being the main one. Um, so let's kick things off. Walter, Sergio Aguero is out. Was selling Jeko a mistake, or was not replacing him a mistake in summer? No, I don't think it was. I mean, uh, the whole shift in tactics over the summer ended up with us playing with one up front. We previously bought Bonnie to play in a four-four-two system. Um, by shifting to one up front, we've got three strikers there who would see us through a season. Because we know where Aguero's injuries, and we know that he can come down <laughs> more often than he should do. But the whole point is, we've got Bonnie there. We've got uh, Ian Atcho there. You know, it's, it's all looking good as far as I can see. Alex? I think with Jacko, I don't think he's necessarily... Um, as, it, it would be nice to have him around, especially in the circumstance that we're in with Aguero being out. But I don't think he's going to get enough game time over the season that we would have needed him around. And this is an opportunity for someone like Kalichi, who's going to bed in. And we want to see get 10, 15 games a season to come in and play Bournemouth. Bournemouth have shipped goals, City are, you know, rampant at home. It's a chance for him to come in, get some form, score some decent goals and bet into the team as a third striker. Yeah, it's all well and good in hindsight, isn't it? But um, surely this is Boney's chance. Is Boney going to be good enough, though, to fill Aguero's big boots? Either of you? Uh, well, I think he's not had a proper run in the team. He's played 16 games for City and that's it. And to be writing off a striker after 16 games with such a previously good uh, record in the Premiership, I think it's ridiculous. And I think he's one of them players that the more he plays, the better he'll get. I mean, he's had some ridiculous injuries. A cut foot, turned ankle. The guy is unlucky. And he came back after the African Cup of Nations as well. And you could quite clearly see him and Yaya were proper knackered then. So I think he's good enough to step up to the plate. I certainly do. Given that one of games... Yeah, I'm with Walter on this one. Um, I think Boney is, is, is a clearly attacking striker. What was it, 28 goals in the Premier League he scored at Swansea in 12 months? That's a phenomenal record. That's 28 goals more than I've scored. <laughs> but, uh, uh, right, uh, ever, as well, in Sunday League. Um, but Bonnie, I, I, I've actually read this morning, a couple of newspapers are starting to report that Bonnie might not start against Bournemouth and be rested for the severe game. Now, I'm with, I'm with uh, Walter. I think that Bonnie needs to get a run in the team because he's played 16 games, but it's been a game here, a game there, 20 minutes off the bench. I think with a striker, you need three or four games to get into a rhythm. So I personally would like to see Bonnie start against Bournemouth, pressures on a little bit, but not too much. And then he can go into that severe game with 90 minutes behind him and hopefully play well. As opposed to just throwing him in against Severe, when we are really going to need him to, you know, to turn up, yeah, and then and not, uh, and, and not perform because he's not fit, he's not match ready. Then there's um, the certain task of going to Old Trafford next weekend. <laughs> is that is that Boney's? Is that like his big game? Is it his big moment? I think it could be. I mean, the thing is, if he goes out and gets a couple of goals, he's just going to be an absolute city legend. So it's all waiting there for him, and he's just got to take his opportunity now. I'm with you. Certainly... I, I, I... Sorry, Walter, cut you off there. No, no, I was just saying he's certainly good enough to actually get a couple of goals against United because he played against us and was absolutely superb when he was a Swansea player. So he can replicate that form at Old Trafford. I'm not that worried about him. Oh, for sure. Sorry. He's definitely a way to win over the fans. You look at Berra, you know, public enemy number one at West Brom, bag yourself a goal against the Villa and suddenly <laughs> he's king again. I think that's how... That's what Bonnie needs to do. I don't remember Ben Johnny scoring any goals apart from scoring against Old Trafford. <laughs> and I've still got that Ben Johnny shirt and I wear it every Saturday. Um, and that's, that, I mean, wouldn't it be great? But it's we'll whether see. he can pull it out of the bag and he does seem to let the fans get to him. And I think as City fans, we do need to get behind him and give him as much support because he's, he's one of our own and he's definitely a confidence-based yeah. striker. Silva is also out. And for me, I think he sometimes is the bigger <laughs> loss. But... Is it less of a problem this year? Because we've got some options now. We've brought in De Bruyne, Sterling. We've got Nasri as well to come back in. Is that well, less of a problem? Nasri is definitely a player to bring in. I mean, Nasri would walk into 18 Premier League teams and get on the starting lineup. Um, and it, we've got him on the bench. And I think that if we sign Nasri this summer, we would be so excited to see him get some game yeah. time. Um, and it's the weird thing is that you mentioned to me the other day, is do we rely too much on Aguero? I don't think it's we rely too much on Aguero. We rely on Aguero and Silva as a partnership. And to see them both go is frightening. 
But Nasri and Bowie, this is a big chance for them both. And that could be a partnership, both French players. Nasri plays very fluid football and gives the game a little something different to what Silver gives. And I'd like to see that little bit of flair come out a little bit more that we know he's capable of. De Bruyne time, Walter. Well, I'd like to disagree with Alex just a bit there. I'd say 19 teams in the Premiership itself. But I'm looking at uh, Nasri coming through, we're looking at De Bruyne coming through. I'm also looking at pushing Yann at that number 10 position as well because I think he can fulfil a job there and you know keep two sort of holding midfielders behind him to mop up so the problem with Silver going out is he's so intrinsic to the way we play and he everything goes through him and people almost run off knowing that Silver are going to find him so I think De Bruyne could step into it there's no match for Silver but Silver would just walk into any team in the world I think anybody would miss him of course, anyone will miss him. But how about this? Let's put KDB out on the right. Push Yaya back forward, because we know Yaya can be disrupted yeah. at number 10. Sterling's doing a great job out on the left wing. That leaves a little gap in the holding midfield role. Let's see George Evans get a game. Let's see us bring someone through. And that said, Fernandinho and Fernando have both been superb. And Delph as well. Delph's back in the fold now as well. So. Oh, wouldn't Delph. that be fantastic? Delph. Oh. <laughs> so, looking at seven games without Aguero, how many of those do we need to win for it to be like a, right, we're all right, we've done all right without him? Well, we're not in a relegation battle. It's not how many games we need to win. <laughs> we're trying to be the biggest club in the world, Adam. Surely we'd be it's seven out of seven if we're going to be the world's best. Isn't I disagree best? with you slightly. I, th I don't think you can win every game. I mean, that's just not happening. Uh, people are asking me after five games, can we maintain this through a season? I'm optimistic, but come on, every single team is going to lose one or two. That's just the nature of the beast. Now, you say about how many would... I think it depends where we are in the league and where the competition is in the league. And I think it also depends... That's in the Premiership, but also in the Champions League. If you get four points against Sevilla and we're sitting up at the top, we're going to be more than delighted. So, I don't think it's as clear-cut as four, five, six, seven games. I think there's always a few other factors to figure in. Yeah, definitely. And I think you look at our next three games, for example, Bournemouth, Sevilla, United, I would say they're all must-win games. Um, United, obviously, the derby is, is, is a must-win game. Um, Sevilla at home in the Champions League, I think given how the Champions League table is looking and how it's going to look, uh, we've got to take three points there. That's probably going to be the, of the remaining games, the easiest three points we're going to get. And then Bournemouth, if we're going to be champion, champions of the Premier League, You've got to be beating Bournemouth at home. And I am with you, Walter. I think you can't expect your team to win every game, but surely that's got to be, when you're trying to be the club that City are, surely that's got to be the objective. Well, I disagree slightly because you, I hate this word, must win. I mean, if we lose all three of them games, we can still win the Champions League, we can still win the Premier League. Nothing's a must-win game at this point of the season. So it'd be nice to win them, it'd be great to turn them over at Old Trafford, but I'd settle getting stuffed twice by United every year and walking off with all the medals. There we go. That's, that's why we bring you on, Walter. Anyway, it's been a pleasure, guys. Um, I'm sure we'll see you again soon. Um, but make sure, add us on Skype. Get involved with this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Get involved with this. Um, add us on Skype and you could be an Alex, a Walter, a me. Either of us. So add us on Skype in the description below. Like it, this video, if you enjoyed this new strand. Subscribe if you're not ready. And we'll see you soon.